Animals, yeah. so it's all showered in. And then inside here, we've got uh, elements, yeah? Uh, plastic elements, uh, yeah. the surface area. So that uh, when the fuel gas comes from down there, comes up, it, it mixed with the seawater and the socks gets scrubbed out, yeah? And uh, because it's plastic, yeah, we have to take care of the temperature. It cannot be too high, otherwise the unit will trip. Okay. The, the big one there is the FGD fan yeah? and then the, the round one there is the gas gas heat exchanger full gas to full gas heat exchanger yeah? okay right right and you can see the better picture of the stacker reclaimer the buckets are, are turning and scooping up scooping up the, the coal and putting it on those conveyor so the conveyor jalan 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 to our transfer tower. We we'll transfer it all up there to our yeah. oh. those, those three silo there on the other side, the further side, the three silo is the fly ash silo. The, the nearer silo is the bottom ash silo, yeah? For the bottom ash. Okay? Right. Right. Okay, we shall, we shall move on. Right. Shall, shall move on, yeah? <laughs> Okay, the blue one on the aeration pump, yeah, we pump the, uh, the bubble, the air through the hot uh, there, change sulfate to sulfate. This is what we call transfer tower, which transfer the coal to, from tower to tower. So at many places we need compressed air because uh, near electricity, near flammable things we need compressed air to run some, some sensitive equipment yeah? So our compressed air house there So this is the last transfer tower, we call it TD5, transfer tower 5 They go to all the bunker and then the coal will be dropped into each bunker yeah, in turn Right, at the bottom of the coal yeah, bunker is what we call the coal feeder. You can see four pipes is coming out. There's a coal feeder there. Uh, coming out from the mill, yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. The, bottom. Yeah. the big pipe, that one is the primary air. Yeah, sure. the yeah. So the three water panels is that side. Right, the four bay is also that side. And for starting, we need the LFO or, or fuel oil or actually it's diesel inside there. Diesel without any additives, yeah. Your normal diesel car need additive because the engine is too small, huh? You burn diesel without additive, uh, you know, overheat your engine, yeah. Only big vehicles can take uh, diesel without additives. <coughs> Our ash pond is right up ahead there, you can see our ash pond. Okay, this is our switch yard. Okay. Our control room is over to my uh, left here. It's our control room right at the top there. And uh, you can see our main transformer. This is a main transformer for unit one. <laughs> and then the other base is the two and the three. Uh, so from the main transfer is coming out 500 kV. Yeah, 500 kV. So behind that, we have auxiliary transformer because we also need some power. Yeah. And we need cooling water. So we have uh, a system where we have a triple CW. Uh, pump the cooling water and then the other side. Did you believe this, Mr. Yes, Mr. Okay, stop here. Stop here, what? Very easily. Sir, why there is, uh, why there is something coming out of them? Supposingly, everything go to the okay. chimney, right? Why yeah. there is anything coming? Yeah. Out of them? 
So we have uh, two two discharge there. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one, the highest one, is uh, where the from the blow down tank, all the blow down, uh, all the uh, the, 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 the various. Uh, you know, you know the you know the boiler drum, the boiler drum, the boiler drum. So, the, no matter how how well we treat the water, there are some impurities. Okay. So in the in the boiler drums, so when the steam is evaporated, the impurities get concentrated more and more. So when our chemist has tested the water and we found the impurities is getting too high, we blow down. We we let go some water and we top up with more water so as to dilute the impurities to within a certain range. So that blown out water, high pressure water and temperature is discharged. Part of it, because it's high temperature and water and, and pressure, some of it, half of it, flashes into steam and it comes out there. Uh -huh. the, the, the top one. The top one. Yeah. So the other half, which has a. Uh, so half of it flashes into steam, the other half is uh, hot water, which we have to cool it down before we can discharge it. The temperature of water we discharge from here cannot be more than 40 degrees C. Okay? So the bottom one is for from the from the turbine uh, waste steam. Uh, whenever uh, uh, when we condense, right? We don't con we condense this steam, right? Uh, uh. no, because the impurity is high. Uh, so we okay. just let it out. Yeah, we just let it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, Siren, I have a question for you, for all of you. Okay, students, students, class. Uh, how many transformer that we have? Okay, yeah, why, why three? Yeah? Three units. The unit, right? Three units. Because we have three set of uh, turbine generator, turbine generator, turbine generator. So there's one, three transformers. One, two, and yeah. three. So three main ones, eh? Transformer. Yeah, yeah. Like. The yeah. main one, the main one, the big one, the big one. Oh. The big one, huh? This is uh, this what called a main transformer, three, huh? <laughs> like three horns. So yeah. There's a transformer. This is a transformer. Oh, I'm generator. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> generator is inside, yeah? In, inside, you cannot see. Yeah, these are the main transformer. So each, each, each one is a uh, one phase, yeah? Each one is one phase. <coughs> you can see behind it, uh, we have auxiliary transformer because to produce power, we also need some power. So we have, we also got some auxiliary transformer behind the main transformer. The main transformer is the biggest one. So you have three uh, generators also? Yes. Three generators? Yes, we have three units. Each unit is a turbine, generator, boiler. So, boiler. Yeah. yeah. So when I refer to units, I mean uh, one complete yeah. set. Yeah. One complete set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the so new one? The new one. The new one. The new unit is a. Uh, after the, it's the other side. when you come in the time you see the new construction going on so that's the place of the Manjong 4 the new unit 1000 megawatt unit on the, our right side can you just highlight to the student the transmission here oh line okay so just from outside after the transformer yeah yeah yes student class class yeah. so 23 kv from our generator 23 kv go into our main transformer step up to 500 kv ah, yeah. go into our switch yard 500 kv switch yard okay and uh, and uh, from there it goes to Ayatawa. Yeah? <laughs> the problem with reclaimed land is sinkage. Yeah? The land is sinking. So there's a problem of the tower sinking. How they overcome it, they predicted it. And how they overcome it is that down there, they got the extra screw. They can uh, jack it up by, by, by unscrewing it. You can jack it up, yeah? Okay, okay. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Yeah, Manjung 4 is the site they are building now. Oh. That one is Manjung 4. There's a 500 KV Manjung 
20 million dollars, 20 million ringgit sitting there. Yeah, doing nothing until emergency. Then the spare main transformer sitting there doing nothing. 20 million dollars ringgit. Really? Yeah. It's more expensive than the other ones. Uh, because it looks more new. So. Oh no, it's the same size, same rating, everything. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, in case one of our transformers go. go the loss of generating opportunity is more costly than the uh, machine itself, than ah, yeah. the transformer. You burn the coal and there is no output, right? Uh, yes, but when you break down, you cannot, you cannot give it up. You don't burn the coal. But the, the opportunity lost to generate electricity costs us a lot, much more than the cost of uh, the <laughs> transformer. Yes. So there is another transformer before the main transformer, right? Three transformer. It's a uh, step down. Ah uh, yes. Uh, because it comes from the it takes it, it takes it from the twenty three kV and step down to uh, eleven kV. Uh, it's for the for usage the internal yeah. usage. Yes. Uh, yes. How long does it take if we have to change, if we have problem with one transformer to substitute with this one, how long yes. can it take? Uh, it can take six months. Six months. Yeah. In the meantime, they will try to do something, they will try to look for something similar. Uh, in Kappa 1, they, they do this, they have a step one because in Kappa, one main transformer will blow and it takes about six months to replace it. But in the meantime, they look, they look for whatever transformer is available, they can only get one that is 80% of the rated capacity so they lost 20 percent for six months mm. and it's a lot okay. a lot of money so now they are when they build here they are so scared they put one standby mm. <laughs> okay i think uh i think that's it now huh? yeah. okay. 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 all right all right thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much all the best in your studies okay. huh? okay. uh, yeah. Peace.